All right, Trev, what game are we playing today? We're going to play Descent. All right. But you're going to have to help me get it all out of the box. Let's so. take a look. Wow. All right, now let's set it up. Okay. All right, Trevor. It looks like it's all set up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet. Well, what have we got here? Well, as you can see, as Dad just panned over, this is your map. Welcome to Descent Journeys in the Dark. This is not second edition. Yeah, this is not the only map, but this is one of the many maps that oh, cool. you can make. So you got a map, and then I pan over here to the stars of the show. Da, 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 da. Welcome to the heroes. These are the people you can choose to be. Each hero has its own hero card and its corresponding figure. Nice. Telling all its abilities and special mm -hmm. things that we won't go into detail about. Yeah. Okay. So, my hero I picked for this quest would just be this guy. So I'd take him, put him on my card until you're ready to start. Or wherever you want to put him. As nice. long as you don't lose him. Yeah. <clears throat> After you pick your hero, you'll see their background has a certain color and up in this little area right here, yeah. right above the green foot thing, there's that symbol. Okay. Those correspond to these cards over here. For each... Uh, person you choose there are two classes so the yellow ones are the one that I chose and then there's the red green and blue as you can see oh, they all have their different characteristics blues sure. like healing uh, uh, red is like warrior fighting stuff like that cool. um, I just like to be the yellow because it's magic and I think it's <laughs> awesome so I usually like choose to be magic. the necromancer because it's my favorite personally cool. Right. So, when you choose your cards, you get a certain number of basic skills, which are, you know, there's a bunch of cards that give you skills when you level up, but we're not going to go into all that yet. Okay. Or maybe anyway, ever. you get a lot of special cards that you can add. So, you just choose your class, you get powers okay. based on your class, and so then... you only get a couple of them to start with, and you can upgrade and buy more as you go along. Yep, Sweet. and you put your figurines on the board here. Well, wow. Well. So we got four heroes setting out, and right behind those heroes, I have uh, I see a couple of cards. That's right. These are the monster cards. There are four heroes. This game can play up to five people. There are four heroes, and then there's one overlord. There can, um, depending on the number of heroes, ah. that's what monsters the overlord gets to play. So minion monsters. So there, there always has monster. to be at least one overlord. If you only have four people playing, there will only be three heroes. So you got the Overlord, and he's got his deck of cards here. Mm -hmm. So he plays the monsters. He picks these one up every time. You just go. Nice. go so how do you know which monsters to use in each map or scenario? Well, the how we found out how to set this up was this book. So almost too heavy for me to lift. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but it says up here how to set up your map where to put everything, what monsters to use, um, never tells you what heroes to use, but it gives you the conditions of victory, and there are so many. Ooh, tons of quests. The cool thing about this game is that it's so open, you can just make up your own quest, and I've been wanting to do that for a long time. That is awesome. awesome. So you got a single quest, made up of a couple of encounters. What about campaign mode? Campaign mode is like when you level up and stuff, or just get experience and that's basically when you do a bunch of quests just combine them together and you just go at it and you beat a quest you get experience points you buy skill cards you get different skills you fight more monsters and it's just so fun <laughs> <laughs> you do a new encounter new scenario well awesome well show me more about these uh, these monsters well, show me a little bit about what the monster card the monsters has to offer. as you saw over here with the myriad um, okay. This is 
the minion. The minions are the white ones and the masters are the red ones. So the top is the, top is the minion okay. powers, the bottom is the master powers. If you flip over, um, if you only have two heroes it says you only get one minion monster. If you have three heroes you'll get one master monster and if you have four you'll get one of each. Nice. So each card has that depending on the amount of heroes, what you do. These are the powers that they have. If it says they can use it, it defines what their moves are essentially. Sweet. Each monster has one of those. Well, sweet. Well, why don't you show me what a turn involves? All right. Now that it looks like these heroes are about to get slaughtered. Well, you think that, and then everything is intense for a while. But what you do here is on your character card, as you see, um, there are certain things you can do. You also have a turn summary card that tells you the hero's turn and the overlord's turn. Nice. So, Good reminder. Of course, you always love these kind of cards. So at the start of your turn, you do start of turn abilities and you refresh cards. That just means like if you have any cards that say do at the start of your turn or etc. stuff like that. Then you have equip items, which are if you have items in front of you like weapons or shields and stuff like that, you equip, equip them and you have that item for the whole turn. You can't equip anything else. You only equip one thing per turn or one set, whatever. Then there's perform two actions. These are all the actions you can do as a hero. There's just some cool There's a lot, stuff. yeah. Attacking, moving, resting, you know, So searching. show me an example of how you would move an attack on your turn. Okay, so since I'm this guy, this green is your speed. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, come to... back over here. Okay. If I was this guy, this green is your speed. That means I can move up to four spaces on my turn. Nice. This red is my health. That's the maximum number of hits I can take before I faint, get knocked down, whatever because the overlord never kills the heroes. <laughs> then this is your stamina, which are these things. You put them on, you have, can have max five, uh, max of five staminas, and those let you do your skills or move faster. And then this is your defense, and you get a roll of dice, and these are for other stuff that you can read about if you decide to get the game. A lot of skill checks and stuff. Cool, so, all right, let's see you do As it. I said, this is my figurine. If it's our turn, I can move up to four spaces, and that's one of my actions, so I'll go one, two, three, four, for example. You can example. go diagonal, yes. You, you can go diagonal. Um, then if I chose to attack, yes, I would have you do. I would have um, chosen to equip one of my basic items, which was the Reaper's Scythe you get as a Necromancer. So in this side right here, it tells you which dice to use, the blue and the yellow. So I get a blue and a yellow dice to attack with nice. if, if I have this weapon equipped. Let me just go over the dice. The hearts are the number of hits that they take. Okay. Surges are these lightning bolts, and on your weapon or whatever, it'll say you can spend a surge for a range. If you have a ranged weapon like this, it's a bow and arrow. If it's a melee weapon, it'll be red and like a battle axe. That means you have to be up right next to it. Adjacent to attack. But a ranged weapon, you can attack from far away. Now here's the catch. These numbers here, tell you your range. So I could hit five away, but sometimes you won't roll any range or really small range. Like that would be only four away. That would be only th uh, three away. So you never know what your range is going to be. You're just taking your best shot. Yeah, Sweet. so it's kind of all luck. And then you just hope you get as many hits and bams as you can on the bad guys. Okay, so then uh, is he defenseless? You're attacking which one of these guys? I think I'll attack the white one. Okay. The, the minion. minion. Sweet. So let's take a look at what he can defend with. So your minion, Myriad, attacks with your blue and the red, but it will defend with a black dice. Ooh. The okay. black dice are, I hate them, because they can block up to four. Nice. But they can also block zero. So, so then the overlord rolls the black dice. They roll die. the black dice. You roll these dice. The shields cancel out the hearts. If you roll an X, that means you miss, and that's too bad for you because you didn't hit the guy. So you missed, and he would have blocked anyway. Yeah. So he doesn't take any hits. If he did take hits... Then um, these things, hearts right here, that signifies how much you have hit. And yeah. if, it's, if you got hit, you'd put it on your card. The monsters get hit, you just put it next to the figurine so you know that that's how many hits he takes. He's got hit, and as you can see from his card, it only takes... He only has five health. Five, and he's dead. The master has seven health, however. Hmm. Anyway, a lot of stuff to remember, but that's your basic 
turn, right? And the Overlord, then yeah. he gets a turn too. Whew. So, there's a lot going on. There so, is, <laughs> that's why it's so fun. Well, what do you think about the synth then? I would give it a five. Ooh, big hit. So, let's see, I think once we got this, I think we were playing it daily, right? You wanted to play it yeah. again and again? <laughs> got it for Christmas, played it, you know, at least twice, maybe three times a day. <laughs> it was pretty fun. And have you played all the encounters or quests yet? No. <laughs> nope. That's awesome. All right, thanks, Trevor. And good luck to these heroes. They've got a lot to accomplish. <laughs>